So, um, is this your first time to Margaret River? My second time. Second time. So, yeah, I came here two years ago. Yes, and what, what are your impressions of Margaret River? What is it that, that you like about the region? Well, I'm, I'm into botany, mm -hmm. so that's my, um, I'm a florist. That's, back, that's my background, and I just was blown away back then at the plants that I've never seen before. Yeah, the biodiversity. Yeah. It's, it's in, in, you know, and obviously this time of year, so much stuff is flowering. Mm. This morning I got up at 5.30 and walked on Smith's Beach. Yeah, right. And walked all the way around and saw five plants that I've never seen before, <laughs> you know, in full flower. Yeah, right. And um, this, you know, one of the grass trees is flowering, and I was taking photographs of the bees collecting the pollen off the grass trees. Yeah, right. And this massive, whatever it was, bee, looked like a bee, came, sounded like a helicopter. <laughs> and no joke, it was that big. I mean, oh. you just keep discovering stuff here that you just don't see. Yeah, you else. The, especially around Melbourne, it's just completely different habitat where I'm from. Yeah, um, and where are you from originally? Originally from Holland, but yes. we've, I live in Mount Dandenong, which okay. is just outside of Melbourne. Very good. And um, sustainability and yes, a big thing for you. Yeah. Um, has there been have you got any impressions about that in Margaret River? Is there anything that's um, surprised you, impressed you, um, shocked you? I, I think it's become more of a focus here. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And then you've got guys like at Lewin Estate, you know, that that are doing some great work around. I mean, they're all doing great work around sourcing local, sustainable. And the idea that you don't need to have these exotic ingredients from far, far away. And so that's what sustainability really is all about. It's about, you know, using what's local and, and, and um, you know, they don't do it much better than around here. Yeah, fantastic. And have you had a chance to experience any indigenous ingredients or eaten anything that you haven't eaten anywhere else? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like two years ago, we went foraging with Miles Irving when he was over and um, it was just, you know, we were hours yeah. walking through places, eating, test, tasting. And yeah, there's so much stuff that we just don't use. And, and for me, it just makes complete sense that we need to start growing these foods because they naturally occur and they grow without they grow eating any, anything. Yeah, yeah. So there's no pesticides, why aren't we eating it? Yeah, you know? exactly. yeah. Like the uh, Warrigal spinach that I found this morning on, you know, near the coast, it was just lush and green. And why aren't we using that instead mm. of, you know, trying to grow these? Mm. Well, that's what, you know, like the old Italians used to do. Well, yeah. You know, that's my background, which is why I'm talking about that. But, you know, they'd yeah. see weeds and then they'd saute that in garlic and butter and you've got a beautiful dish. And, yeah. and now they call it, you know, rucola or rocket or whatever. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, exactly right. Oh, look, thanks very much for your no, time. No, no problem. It's a fantastic gourmet escape. I love this place. And, it's amazing. Yeah.